today i am going to talk about friction factor calculation using the kolebruk equation in fluid mechanics the kolebruk equation is used to calculate the friction factor in a turbulent flow regime inside a rough pipe the equation is given by 1 by root f is equal to minus 2 log epsilon d dot 1 by 3.7 plus 2.57 re to the power f now here i am considering it is a log base 10 you can take log natural the calculation will be different now here i am taking log 10 where f is the friction factor epsilon is the roughness height of the pipe wall d is the diameter of the pipe re is the reynolds number now let's calculate the friction factor for a specific example now here the data are given pipe diameter is 0 0.1 meter roughness height epsilon 0.0015 meters fluid density rho 1000 kg per meter cube dynamic viscosity mu 0 0.001 kg meter second fluid velocity v is equal to 1 meter per second now step one calculate the reynolds number because this equation reynolds number is required so reynolds number is rho v d by mu so rho is 1000 kg per meter cube v is 1 meter per second d is 0 0.1 and mu is 0 0.001 so ultimately if you plug and do the calculation you will get reynolds number 1 2 naught and here 3 naught so 1 lakh now step 2 now here if you see this equation this is a non-linear equation so non-linear equation here we are going to solve f because all these parameters are given epsilon d reynolds number only f is unknown here so it is a nonlinear equation so now solving that root of this nonlinear equation we have to use that root finding method so here we are going to use newton raphson method so use the newton raphson method to find the friction factor perform iterative calculation until convergence is achieved so we will use newton raphson method and we will do the calculation until convergence is achieved now so what is newton raphson method and how to uh, find the root so i am showing here so here so using the newton raphson method to find the friction factor so what is newton raphson method so newton raphson method is so we know so that is x n plus 1 is equal to x n minus f of x n by f dash xn xn is the root of the equation now here as this equation is uh, that function of small f so now here uh, that f n plus 1 like xn plus 1 is equal to f n like xn minus f capital f that is function f n that is the root uh, that xn and divided by f dash xn now here so challenging things are uh, calculating f dash fn now we know that f of capital f of f is nothing but here uh, if you take uh, this term in the right hand side or this term if you take this term in the left hand side you will get this equation so f of f is equal to 1 by root f plus 2 log epsilon by d 1 by 3.7 plus 2.51 re to the power f so now here f dash this is uh, the derivative of f of f with respect to small f now so we know this f now we have to find out f does fn so f does fn can be find two ways one you can do the analytical derivative and we also other ways we can do numerical technique now here uh, we are finding uh, through analytical uh, method so we are going to find the derivative uh, by doing uh, derivation with respect to f so here expression is that f of f is equal to 1 by root f plus 2 log epsilon d 1 by 3.7 plus 2.5 2.51 re to the re into root to square root of f now if i do the differentiation with respect to f so we can get this analytical value so we have we can do that and we will get that so f dash f 
is nothing but minus 1 by 2 dot root f cube plus 2 dot 1 by ln 10 because here this is log base 10 okay so based on that that this will will get this equation if we take that ln log natural things will be different uh, so earlier videos i i did mistake okay so please be careful so f that uh, capital f dash f is nothing but minus 1 by 2 dot root f cube 2 dot 1 by ln this uh, this total f dash f now here uh, so uh, we so in this equation only so this is the function of f uh, so uh, if you if you assume some value of f we know epsilon d re everything so we can easily get the function value of the f and here also if we take some guess value of f and we know everything so we can also get that f dash f and from that we can utilize the newton epsilon method and uh, we can use the newton epsilon method and we will get the root now here so if we plug all this value so it will be f i plus 1 is equal to f i of this this is the form f this is nothing but f of f f i and this is f dash this one f dash f i now, now <coughs> we we got this equation now we put initial guess is f0 is equal to 0 0.02 we are taking that and we put all this value epsilon d r e and we will get first iteration we will get uh, 0 0.0629 so next iteration we are taking this is the guess value and again use this equation same this equation we are using okay same equation and just we are changing the value guess value so now uh, again we are taking that f1 is equal to 0 0.0629 again put uh, uh, this f1 into this equation so and other things are same so f2 will be 0 0.0486 okay now again we take this is a guess value and iteration number 3 so f3 will be so we put everything and we do calculation so we will get f3 is equal to 0 0.0445 now if you do this calculation so uh, after certain iteration we will get some common value uh, where if we calculate f of f so that will be nearly approximately zero so that will be the root of the equation now here we did the three iteration uh, and we got that that approximate value of f is 0 0.0445 so that fraction factor for for this after three equation for this flow uh, of the pipe uh, with, with given roughness is approximately 0 0.0445 so if we do if we uh, if we solve this problem matlab or python or excel so we can do more iteration and there we will get the exact value so that's it next video so now here we are uh, calculating that f dash f using analytical analytically now next video i'm making another video so there we will calculate f dash is f by using central differ difference approximation. That's it, thank you.